Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Fankhauser and I am a Salesforce consultant at Solve Cloud, a company that is dedicated to automating your business. And today we are going to talk about Agent Force. In particular, we are going to answer the question, how can I use Agent Force to help improve my email to case routing? All right, let's hop into it. So there are a couple steps that we need to follow or do before we can have the agent force agent help us out with email to case. So the first thing that we need to do is configure an agent to route cases. What that means is we need to get into agent force. We need to either configure the service agent or Einstein Copilot to access cases and to route those cases. So that's the first thing. The second thing we need to do is to create a flow. And that flow is going to be triggered when your email to case creates a case. So you'll have a, a record triggered flow on case creation that then routes to the agent and then the agent's going to do your work. So without further ado, let's hop into the demo. Now, before we move forward, just wanted to give credit to Dave Mowdy he was the one that had the original idea of using agent force with email to case and really giving a demo on it. This is just gonna go over that demo. Without further ado, just gonna show you kind of what Dave did in this video and then give my analysis of what I think it means in the future. Now that we know that Dave is the original founder, I'm going to go and do kind of a review of what he did, but add some additional tidbits that will be very helpful when you are trying to do this. So first things first, let's follow the steps. Let's create or edit the agent that we want to route the cases. So in the video, he goes ahead and edits the Einstein Copilot. I did the same thing and while our descriptions and our scope is a little bit different. It's basically follows the same path where you have a topic now of case routing. With the topic, you describe the classification and the job of the agent, and then you add the scope. So the scope for my agent is I want to be routing to either the billing, the battery, or the general queue. And based off of a user input, the agent is going to respond with one of those three cues, one of those three words. And then we can use that in the flow to route the case. Now, one thing that Dave doesn't go over is example user input. Um, I highly recommend using this feature in Agent Force to train your bot. Basically, you're just gonna give it some example data so that it understands what to do and, and can use that as a training mechanism. Now, now that we have the agent set up, let's go ahead and trigger the flow. Now the flow is very simple. It's a record triggered flow on the case create and then it immediately routes to the agent. So this handy dandy action block, they actually have agent force in those actions now. So you can route it to an action, route it to an agent. The input is the case subject and the case description. So that comes from email to case. When a case is created from email to case, you have the subject, you also have the description filled out. And now based off of that, we want the agent or the large language model to parse out and then make a decision on where that case should be routed. Now, the agent, this is going to be something new. The agent doesn't just respond with billing, battery, or general with those words. That's not how it responds. It actually responds with a key value pair. And the key value pair is the data type of the response and the response. And so, what you'll see is you'll kind of see like a similar to a JSON object that the agent is going to respond with that. And it's going to be in text format, but from there, you're not able to just say, Hey, the response of the agent is equal to 
battery or billing. I ran into that issue. You're going to have to say, hey, the response contains your answer or, or your cue. So the way that you can test this is go to the debug, go ahead and run through the debug. And then if you see the agent response, you're gonna see what it actually responds in. And it actually responds in a key value pair format and not just the word battery or the value battery. That's going to come into play when you are implementing this. I guarantee it. Ran into errors, errors myself, so watch out. That's just one of the tidbits I'd add. And then the rest of the flow is pretty simple and, and follows what Dave had created, which is he gets the queue and then he updates the case with the queue ID. Now, seeing this in action, I went ahead and sent a case saying, I need help with billing. If we go to our cases, you're gonna see, oh, here we go. There's a new case and it routed to billing. So what we can see here is the agent, after the email, the case worked, it created a case, then it triggered the flow and then it sent it to the agent. Now the agent is parsing out, I need help with billing and saying, okay, that's gonna categorize it as a billing case and route it to the billing queue. So that's the demo. It follows pretty simply uh, what Dave did, but uh, it also adds some tidbits of you training your agent as well as how the agent actually responds and, and sends the response. Now, when it comes to feasibility and cost effectiveness, let's touch on feasibility. From a technical standpoint, yes, it is feasible. We can do it. We've shown in the demo that you can route cases using agent force and it can help your email to case uh, functionality feasible from a financial perspective and cost effectiveness is another story personally i don't necessarily feel like it's very cost effective to use agent force to route your cases uh, right now and the reason i say that is because agent force is charging two dollars per interaction so per, per action of routing the case, you're getting charged two bucks. When you apply that to maybe getting 50 cases a day and then over a month, you're spending about $3,000 on just routing the case. When you can do that in flow and do a less innovative way to routing, but more cost effective. So. In my opinion, I don't necessarily think this is extremely useful at the moment. However, over time, I can see this being extremely helpful, especially because over time, we're going to hit economies of scale and the cost per interaction is going to go significantly down. And really what's going to happen is every time a case comes in, agent force is going to be routing it. It's going to be uh, parsing out the data of the email, parsing out the data of the interaction and saying, hey, this is where you need to go. So in the future, I do think this is going to be very helpful. However, right now, I don't necessarily think it is the most cost effective way to route cases. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video and tuning in. I really enjoyed walking you through this and walking you through what Dave did. If you are ready to see Agent Force in action, please check out the Solve YouTube channel. There are many Agent Force videos that go over a variety of use cases that maybe will be valuable for you. If you're looking for a way to automate your own business with Agent Force or with Salesforce in general, click on our website link below and send us a message. We'd be happy to help. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.